Travis Barker is hospitalized for a medical emergency. And his wife, Kourtney Kardashian, is sticking by her husband's side through the scary ordeal. On Tuesday, the Blink-182 drummer was reportedly rushed to L.A. Cedar sinai Hospital by ambulance after being seen by docs at another nearby hospital. Outside Cedars, cameras captured 43-year-old Courtney standing beside Travis in all black, while paramedics wheeled him inside on a stretcher. On June 28, 2024, Travis Barker was urgently transported to Cedars Sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles following a serious health scare. The 48-year-old drummer was experiencing severe abdominal pain, nausea, and a possible overdose from an unidentified substance. Initially, he was rushed by ambulance from his Calabasas home to West Hills Hospital and Medical Center. However, his condition deteriorated, prompting his transfer to Cedars Sinai, known for its exceptional critical care. The specifics of the situation remain unclear, as Barker's representatives have only released a brief statement confirming his hospitalization without further details. The statement simply read, Travis Barker was rushed to the hospital on Tuesday with a health issue the family asks for everyone's immediate thoughts and prayers. This recent health scare follows a traumatic event from over a decade ago when Travis Barker survived a devastating plane crash in 2008 that left him with severe burns and PTSD. The crash, which claimed the lives of four people, including two of Barker's close friends, was a profoundly traumatic experience for him. Barker's recovery after the crash was nothing short of remarkable. He spent 11 weeks in the hospital, undergoing multiple surgeries and skin grafts to treat the severe burns covering 65% of his body. The physical and emotional recovery was grueling, marked by debilitating PTSD, anxiety, and a paralyzing fear of flying that jeopardized his career as a touring musician. Despite these challenges, Barker, with the unwavering support of his family, friends, and fans, refused to let the tragedy define him. Through relentless determination and a deep commitment to his craft, he gradually rebuilt his strength both physically and emotionally. He underwent intensive physical therapy, learning to walk and play the drums again. Eventually, he regained his skills and returned to performing with Blink-182 and other musical projects. In facts, part 365. In September of 2008, Blink-182 drummer Travis Barker survived a plane crash that killed four out of the six people on board. He suffered third-degree burns over 65% of his body and underwent 16 surgeries over an 11-week span. Travis was in so much pain that he repeatedly called friends and offered them over a million dollars to help him end his own life. In 2016, a Texas father drove home and went to sleep, forgetting that his six-month-old daughter was still strapped to her car seat. Hours later, he found her unresponsive in the blistering hot car. Before attempting CPR and calling 911, he brought her inside and placed her in the refrigerator to try and revive her. But the child had likely died hours earlier and the man was charged with manslaughter. Over the years, Travis Barker has inspired many by demonstrating that the human spirit can triumph over even the toughest challenges. His unwavering determination and passion for drumming have resonated with fans around the globe, solidifying his status as a true punk rock icon. The news of his recent hospitalization has shocked both his dedicated fans and the music industry. After his incredible recovery and resurgence following the 2008 plane crash, the prospect of him facing health issues again is particularly distressing. While the specifics of Barker's current condition and the circumstances of his hospitalization remain unclear, initial reports of a possible overdose have raised concerns about a potential relapse into substance abuse. In a 2015 interview, Barker disclosed his struggle with prescription painkiller dependency following the crash a common issue for survivors of such traumatic events. He spoke about the difficulty of overcoming his addiction, stating, I was on so many drugs I could have died. His recovery from both the crash and subsequent substance abuse issues is a testament to his resilience and determination. The pressures of the music industry, combined with the lasting impact of the accident, have clearly taken a toll on Barker's mental and physical health. The strong outpouring of support from fans and fellow musicians during this latest health scare underscores the significant impact he has had on the music world. Blink-182 bandmates Mark Hoppus and Matt Skiba, along with many other artists, have turned to social media to express their concern and wish for Barker's swift recovery. On September 19th of that year, Barker and his close friend DJ AM, Adam Goldstein, were involved in a tragic private jet crash shortly after taking off from Columbia Metropolitan Airport in South Carolina. Um, you know, my drug addiction to uh, the plane crash, everything had like a, a, a great outcome, you know, or, or as good as it could, where 
as when you and I were first scheduled to talk, I was in no, I wasn't in a good place. On the status of Blink 182. People grow apart, and, and when they do, you know, it's it's no longer healthy, just Are like any relationship. Done, or? No, we actually, our friend Matt Skiba, who plays an alkaline trio, filled in. The plane carrying six people, including two pilots, failed to climb properly and crashed through a perimeter fence before coming to a stop on a nearby highway. Travis Barker and DJ AM, Adam Goldstein, were the only survivors of the tragic accident, which claimed the lives of the pilots and two of Barker's close friends and collaborators, Lil Chris and Charles Chaz Still. Barker sustained severe third-degree burns over 65% of his body, leading to multiple surgeries and an extended hospital stay. The physical and psychological trauma was immense, requiring years of intensive therapy and rehabilitation for him to regain the strength and confidence to return to drumming. In the aftermath of the crash, Barker faced a crippling fear of flying that threatened his music career. It determined to overcome his PTSD and reclaim his passion for performing, he embarked on a challenging journey of recovery with the support of family, friends, and medical professionals. Gradually, he relearned how to walk, play the drums, and even fly again. In 2014, six years after the accident, Barker took his first commercial flight a significant milestone on his road to redemption. This act of bravery and resilience inspired countless fans and fellow musicians, showcasing his ability to overcome even the most daunting challenges. Throughout his career, Travis Barker has been recognized as one of the most influential and technically skilled drummers in punk rock. His dynamic and energetic playing style, combined with his showmanship and stage presence, has made him a beloved figure among music fans and musicians alike. Barker first gained widespread attention in the late 1990s as the drummer for the pop-punk band Blink-182, where he helped define the group's signature sound with hit albums like Enema of the State, Take Off Your Pants and Jacket, and Blink-182. Beyond Blink-182, Barker has collaborated with a diverse range of artists, from hip-hop acts like The Game and Yellow Wolf to pop stars like Rihanna and Avril Lavigne. His versatility and innovative approach to drumming have made him one of the most sought-after session musicians in the industry. In addition to his musical achievements, Barker has established himself as a successful entrepreneur with his clothing line Famous Stars and Straps and co-founded the record label LaSalle Records. Despite facing significant trials, including the 2008 plane crash and his recent health scare, Barker remains a resilient and inspiring force in the music industry. His ability to overcome adversity and push the limits of his craft has solidified his status as a true punk rock icon. As Travis Barker confronts another health challenge, what do you think this latest scare means for his future in music? Will he emerge stronger or will this be a turning point in his career? Stay tuned for the latest updates and insights subscribe now.